that is secure remote access simply for the fact that it's giving the employee the ability to access company assets or resources or data in a secure fashion, no matter where they are, right? And provide that connectivity or trusted secure connectivity back into their infrastructure to access applications that they need to utilize for their business. It's not just about VPN anymore. We should be using firewalls, uh, whitelisting IPs that connect to our networks, uh, geo blocking if possible on your firewall, all help limit the possibility of any remote access uh, that's not needed. And we're all, you know, working towards this least privilege, right? To make sure that someone doesn't have too much access, right? Accidentally for compromises. So how do you make sure that you're providing the same level of security that someone would come into the office at home, at Starbucks, at remote, regardless if they're on VPN, regardless if they're off VPN, doesn't matter the geolocation and finding a level and a balance of security without causing, uh, you know, kind of end user disruption or, you know, kind of business impact of, you know, the sacrifice of what you need to do both. Uh, it also logs everything that's done so that there's an audit trail. If you need to audit what, what somebody did to a particular com- to a computer, it monitors who logs in and has timestamps and it, it can actually, um, track the session activities down to which scripts were executed, what commands were run, the tools that were used, and the files that were even transferred. Taking it the next step further, uh, also, I am authenticating, this is what I can't do, this is what I can do, giving me alerts if, okay, hey, this user hasn't logged in in seven days, and now they've logged in, is that okay? It stops the connection before it's made. It doesn't allow me to download something, and then go ahead and quarantine it and remove it. It stops it from downloading. So there's a lot of proactiveness in that way. Have to have our users use it because it's number one bre- uh, t- uh, place of breach is, is is the user, right? Is the endpoint, right? The right. end user. So we've got to protect them as much as we can. And it's got to be nice and simple so that they can follow the policies and use it uh, in a secure manner. So. We've got solution sets out in the marketplace. Do not be going to work every day with your staff, putting you and your company and your co- client's data and your customers at risk because you don't understand what we're talking about, just give us a call. We'll Mm -hmm. help you figure this out. We'll help make sure that your people are secure, that your data is secure.